day three of Orlando and we're at uh, Universal. Um, so here they actually don't require masks for people that are fully vaccinated. Luckily we're all fully vaccinated. So that's good. Can't wait to uh, check out everything because it's way bigger than uh, Universal in Studio City. So I'm really excited and Harry Potter's like huge apparently. It is I think in two different parks. So there's like two different parks here. And there's a lot more rides. So I'm gonna show you guys all of that in a second. Our rock cafe is humongous. And they have a chocolate like emporium. So this place kind of reminds me of a mix of adventure land and uh, frontier land from Disneyland. Like all put together in one. So it's pretty cool. It looks like kind of like a bazaar or like somewhere in Mexico. Or maybe that's what they're trying to do, but I don't know. Our first ride is Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls, a water ride. So, um, we just went on a water ride, so I couldn't uh, record, but uh, we got really wet and um, my clothes are pretty much light, so. But we'll dry off throughout the day, so that's good. And uh, they took a picture, so let's see. Ooh, see, look, that's the pterodactyl. So right now we're in like the Jurassic Park area. It's a lot of rides, but we're gonna go to Harry Potter first. Dumbledore be like, Harry made his bed. 10,000 points for Gryffindor! Now we're gonna go eat some lunch at a Nico's restaurant. I believe it's like a Mediterranean food. So Mitos has a lot of Mediterranean inspired dishes as well as American and Asian dishes. This is a more higher end restaurant in the theme park and I've heard so many great things about it so I had to try it. Breaded, fresh. I like it. Oh my god, that sauce is so good. And the meat's so tender. Let me try the um, mashed potato with the sauce. It's like a wine reduction sauce. A little bit over Okay, this is the best meal I've had since I've gotten it. 
Alright, so we just had our lunch and it was perfect. So now we're gonna go on the Velocicoaster. I guess it's a new ride and um, it just opened. So yeah, let's go um, try it out. We just got off the Velociraptor ride. Um, it was actually really scary, and um, I have actually been on a lot of scary rides before, but it was, it was super fun. Um, kind of want to go on again. Um, it's kind of like Superman in um, Six Flags, or like X2 at Six Flags. So it's, it's really scary, and uh, has lots of uh, turns. And the drop is Best like ride. 90 degrees. Best ride ever. <laughs> Best ride. Oh, the ride was so fun. It was scary and Susie was like... Yeah, so we went on the Jurassic Park ride. So at the other Universal, it's um, Jurassic World. So I guess they didn't update this one, but uh, it was really fun to go on that one. And then we went on um, yeah, the Harry Potter like castle ride and that one's pretty much the same as the other Universal so it's not like, it's not anything like different but it was fun to go.
so now we're in London and um, I guess we're gonna go to Diagon now. So we just finished getting off the uh, Green Gods ride. It was really fun. Um, it was kind of like Indiana Jones, but more like a roller coaster. And it was 3D. So I would definitely recommend going on this ride. I think it's my second favorite so far. So this is supposed to be like a replica of Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. So we're walking through the replica of Hollywood, I guess, and we're going back to the other park in Harry Potter world to ride the Hagrid ride. Hagrid's house! Where's Hagrid though? So uh, we just went on um, the Hagrid ride. I think this one's my new favorite ride or the second favorite ride. It's really fun. A lot of unexpected things uh, happen in that ride. I don't want to spoil it, but you definitely have to check it out. Very crispy. And juicy. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> 